What's up guys and welcome to this video. This video is what is on my computer. This video will go through the stuff I use, the stuff I recommend and just everything on my computer that I use on a day to day basis. Well saying that we'll start with the stuff that I don't use on a day to day basis which is actually most of the stuff on my desktop. Um, so we've got GeForce Experience which is really easy to use and that's actually what I'm using now to capture. So if I double click on that, uh, a lot of people ask me how do I capture my videos. Well it's actually if you have a NVIDIA card from the 600 series and up, you simply go into preferences. No you don't even need to do that, you just click the shadow play button there. Um, and then you can see that these are my settings. Normally I use 60fps but you just turn this little toggle on um, change the mode to manual if you don't want to actually shadow your gameplay um, which is what I do so I leave it on manual and then you just press Alt and F9 and then it will start your recording you can change stuff like quality and audio to in-game and microphone which I find works pretty well the only thing you need to remember is if you're gonna record gameplay you need to remember to turn down the gameplay in-game because if you're capturing the microphone at the same time if you make a mistake and your in-game volume is too loud, and I have done this on, on several occasions sadly enough, uh, then it will mean that your recording is pretty much rubbish because uh, people won't be able to hear what you're saying because the game volume is too loud. Um, the downside to doing them separately is obviously you've got to then sync them back up again, but also if you are re-encoding your video again, that's three processing things it's going to have to go through. It's going to go through the initial recording, going through the recording again once you actually put your in-game uh, chat over it and then once it gets onto YouTube or wherever, wherever else you're putting it it's then going to get reprocessed again so quality wise it's best to keep that um, to a minimum. Uh, there's nothing really else on my desktop that needs a major shout out other than this which is CC Cleaner. If you don't have CC Cleaner then this is the thing you need. Um, it literally is really good. I'm not going to do it now just in case it ruins the recording somehow. But basically what this does is it just helps to get rid of any clutter that you have on your computer. Um, so you can set it, always leave it on Internet Explorer because even though I never use Internet Explorer, you seem to always get stuff like temporary internet files and things like that will just pile into your Internet Explorer folder even though I do not use the application. And every time you click run you can click all these things and make them um, to delete custom things so I turned off all the Google Chrome stuff because I like to keep all that stuff and we'll empty my cache and stuff manually rather than doing it like, like this uh, but it basically means that your computer is a lot more clutter free and you can actually save yourself a fair amount of um, desktops, not desktop space, sorry hard drive space and that is pretty much the only thing that I actually use uh, on my desktop um, I haven't played War Thunder in a long time Lightroom 5.6, uh, my Creative Cloud subscription has run out, so I don't use that. I use Lightroom 4, uh, but I'll get onto that in a moment. But everything else here is pretty much the sort of stuff that you can have on your desktop, which is stuff you need to leave. Um, Logitech webcam software, that is what I use when I'm doing a casual play and want to capture my microphone. Uh, my browser of choice, though, is Google Chrome. Um, I don't really skin this or anything. I'm just logged in as me because I find it's really useful to have all your settings synced across to all your different computers and whenever I go um, back to my other home in Kent or whenever I go into university um, then all my stuff is synced up um, like bookmarks and if I want to get distracted then I can uh, my bookmarks as you can see here are quite varied I use Deezer at the moment for my music streaming um, Engadget and Tetrad are, are my main places uh, for getting the news sometimes PC Gamer as well um, for more PC related stuff uh, AV Forums is really useful if you are buying a new television projector or just interested in anything like that. Obviously Twitter, um, I don't really need the origin link there, that was from a while ago. Digital Rev, uh, they sell camera stuff, they also have a pretty awesome uh, YouTube channel if you're interested in uh, cameras sort of stuff. They're like a mixture between Top Gear um, but with cameras rather than cars. Um, Reddit, obviously, uh, BBC Radio 1 is the stuff I listen to. Hexus is another good uh, website for um, techie stuff. Uh, PS Blog, PlayStation Blog, that's just so I can check what's coming up uh, on PlayStation Plus, which is this month is Transistor, which is pretty cool. I was going to buy that for PC, glad I didn't. Um, Adobe stuff, uh, that's Portsmouth University stuff, uh, email, and Metacritic, and then loads more, but 
Uh, most of them, some of these aren't actually mine, they got mixed in with my parents somehow. No idea how that happened. Um, but yeah, that is my browser. Uh, next up is Skype, which I have on there but I never really use. It's obviously a very good voice over IP uh, protocol thing, <laughs> but um, I never really tend to use it. Um, this one's quite good. This is what I use to edit all my videos. Um, it's very basic. It's Mo Movie Studio Platinum. Now, I've had this for, oh god, it'll come out for three years now, uh, so it's getting a little bit tired. Um, and this is very good if you just want to start up a YouTube channel or just do some basic editing. I will be upgrading to the full whack Sony Vegas at some point because that supports 4K video and this doesn't. But to be honest, this does everything I need it to do at the moment, so there's not really much reason to upgrade. I did start using um, Adobe um, Premiere for a bit, uh, but I'm so used to this sort of system and timeline, I think I'll stick with the Sony uh, environment. Although it does crash from time to time, it's pretty annoying, but and there we go. Um, so there's Premiere, Photoshop, and then Lightroom, as I was, I was as I was saying, is the main thing that I will use my computer for when I'm not actually just doing my general browsing. That's a rubbish photo. But that shouldn't be the first one you see. Um, those aren't mine, but yeah, if you ever want to do any sort of serious photography, uh, then it's really pretty useful to... These are all rubbish shots. I apologise you have to see these. Where are my best ones? Where are my best ones? Quick collection. There's none in there. Well, well anyway, this is a really useful um, photo editing tool and managing tool. Um, because I did use Photoshop 5, um, all my library and stuff is mucked up and I need to sort that out. So that's why there aren't any decent pictures in there. Um, if you want to see some decent pictures, I can show you because quite frankly I'm embarrassed for you to see those. Um, I'll just go into pictures and then just a couple of my favourites. Edited photos, that's all my good ones, but somewhere I've got favourites. I think there's only about three in there. But yeah, so I'm, I'm not that terrible, you see. Look, I can take some nice pictures, you see. Nice pictures. That one's that one was one of the first pictures I took, actually. So that one needs to be updated. That's my favourite picture, this one here. This is my favourite picture I've taken. I really like that one. Uh, that was with a 200mm uh, 2.8 uh, prime lens, if you're interested. <sighs> Cup of tea, lovely. Right. Um, while we're here, I suppose I'd better say my computer is laid out. Um, that really shouldn't be there. That is what happens when um, your boot order gets mucked up and then it's, yeah, I've got basically two boot uh, devices now. I can boot from my SSD or boot from the uh, one of my other hard drives just because it got mucked up and I don't really want to delete that just in case it ruins something. But that's just nothing. That's just a bootloader. Um, C is a 120 gigabyte SSD that I use for Windows and then a couple programs. This one's getting pretty full, this is where all my games go, that's just a one terabyte black. Uh, that is actually a 500 gigabyte hard drive but that's configured with a Windows storage space so if I want to upgrade I can just stick another storage device in there and then that'll keep working. Uh, that is just an SD card and then this is the gaming SSD. I uh, don't have that much on it, it's literally just games. Uh, so my Steam games you can see there. Um, I've got black cards, Dark Souls, Grid All Sport, and everything you can see there. And then Origin, just Dragon Age Inquisition, and having an SSD for games does does make a massive difference, and I wholeheartedly recommend it. Um, one of the other tools, other than CC Cleaner, that everyone needs on their computer is this, uh, which is Notepad++. Um, even if you're not going to be doing any coding or anything editing like that. As PC gamers, it is a very useful thing to have on your computer because if you need to ever edit an any file or anything like that, um, Notepad++ is the way to do it. You just simply right click on something uh, like this one here, edit with Notepad++ and then you can edit the file. Uh, this empty file was actually just a workaround to get Netflix um, to work with different captions. I can't remember what it was for, I don't use it anymore anyway, I think that was a one-off. Um, these are Google Docs and Google Sheets and then OpenOffice. OpenOffice is of course a great alternative to Microsoft Word and stuff like that. Um, and then Origin, Uplay, Steam and the works like that. Um, I've got quite a big library now. Um, not too much in the Origin one. Really not that much in the Uplay one. Didn't have any of my games go miss about during the whole uh, catastrophe thing, well not catastrophe thing, the um, thing where some people's games are missing. Uh, Steam library is quite a lot bigger. Um, pretty much 
if I don't have a game it's pretty much because I don't want it with the exception of Dying Light I haven't actually got my review copy for that yet so I need to follow that up so I apologise if you are waiting on that I'll try and get that out to you as soon as I can or at least if I can assuming there's no problems um, GIMP is another thing you need to have on your computer if you're not a big person into Photoshop uh, GIMP is a free alternative and I use it to make my YouTube thumbnails it's quite difficult to sort of work out how it all works but as soon as you know it's a very useful image manipulation program so for any of your needs regardless of whether it's just adding text to a file or whether you want to make a full on panorama with layer masks you can do it all in GIMP uh, Smite is the next one, I haven't played that in a while, that's a great MOBA, go and play it if you haven't already. Uh, CDs I will burn in using FUBAR, FUBAR 200, uh, that's on the other screen, that's why you can't see that. Uh, so I'll burn my CDs in FLAC format and I've got quite a lot of FLACs now. If I go onto my music, where is my music, it's on here somewhere. No it's not, it's on this one, there it is. So I've got quite a lot of FLACs. That's just 15.5 gig of flax, uh, but it's quite funny because there's not actually that many albums in there really. Those are just CDs that I've burnt. Um, and then we get on to uh, the coding sort of stuff. So I use FileZilla to push files via FTP to a web server. And then NetBeans IDE is a very useful thing if you want to do any sort of coding, be it websites, Java, anything like that. Um, and then you can create them on here. So. Um, this is what I just used mainly for my university work, but um, I've got some web stuff on there, but I run that off a USB stick on a XAMPP, my SQL sort of server type thing, uh, so that's why my projects uh, disappeared. Um, and that is actually pretty much everything that is on my computer. The last thing that I do use, and that a lot of people uh, should use if you don't already, um, be careful with it though, I take no um, responsibility if you break your graphics card, but you can overclock graphics cards and things with something like EVGA Precision X or MSI Afterburner. Um, so I've got the, a ridiculously tiny overclock on my uh, card at the moment, as you can see. But that's literally just because I like to keep it nice and quiet. And at the moment, I'm only playing through uh, Dark Souls 2, so I don't really need to bother. Um, it'll vary depending on the game. Um, sometimes um, I will have it louder. Um, if I need more performance, but at the moment I just kind of leave it as it is. So very slight overclock, and I did find that I was getting more artifacts actually than I thought I would do with the memory overclock, which is why I left that at zero. Um, so yeah, that's a good way to get some performance out of your graphics card if you have an NVIDIA card, and obviously there's AMD alternatives and stuff out there. And so that was actually what's on my computer. I hope it's been beneficial. Um, DS4 tool, that is the DualShock tool, I, I don't really tend to use that because I use an Xbox controller, uh, but that is for using a PlayStation 4 controller with your PC, and I think that is everything else I can actually see on here. 4K test, uh, that was an uh, image file just to check that you're receiving 444 colour um, on your device, and on the 4K TV, uh, well at the moment you're not, um, but I'm not going to lie in games, I'm still not convinced. Uh, whether it doesn't work properly because it looks absolutely fine to me from a distance. Yeah, I, I don't know. Needs more investigation anyway. So that's been this video. I hope it's been useful. hope it's been beneficial. Um, if it hasn't, then I apologise. Um, I might add, if, if I haven't decided yet, but if there's some backing music to this, um, let me know how that went down. If there wasn't, then say, I want some backing music. I don't know. <laughs> Um, and also, if you have a question, I will be doing a Q&A, I'll say within a month. Um, either send me a private message on YouTube, don't leave a comment, well do leave a comment, but don't ask in the... Alright, however you want, either leave it in the comments, send me a private message, or send me a tweet with a hashtag AskPCCentric, and then you can ask me anything, and if it's a good question, I'll put it in a Q&A. Thank you so much for watching this video, if you've liked it, give it a like, if you didn't like it, give it a dislike, and for anything else... Uh, subscribe to PC Centric for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.